It's people that give these words life and fuller meaning. Take opportunity, a good chance or occasion to advance oneself. Against Michigan State, Coach Hayden Fry and his Iowa Hawkeyes did just that. With time running out, the Hawkeyes needed a touchdown. Chuck Long with a beautiful fake took the bootleg into the end zone for the winning touchdown. And then who will forget Rob Houtland against Michigan? In the closing seconds, he grabbed the opportunity of a lifetime and won the game for the Hawkeyes. Adversity can be a little bit tougher on the mind and on the body. Ask Keith Byers of Ohio State. A Heisman Trophy candidate when the season began, Byers can only pray he'll get another chance in the sun. Ask Earl Bruce, and he will tell you that adversity has toughened the Buckeyes. On fourth and one, Minnesota expected a run, but Jim Carsados came up with a touchdown pass. And finally, destiny. Well, destiny is the key word for today. Iowa and Ohio State, and only one will be touched by destiny's hand. Back who must go in place of the injured superstar, Keith Byers. Carsados to pitch it on first down. Over the middle, Lanise has got it with a great catch. The ball was thrown high there at midfield. Brent Archold. Now it is second down for Ohio State. Off a of fake, Carsados with time. He's got Lanise. First down inside the 30. Larry Station dropping back. The All-American linebacker in Devon Mitchell, 21, bringing down, but it's a gain of 21. Lanise. Carsados again on first down will throw it. He had time. Carter, great catch down at the 10-yard line. Oh, what a show Jimmy Carsados is putting on here. A 17-yard game. For Iowa, it was three downs and punt. But Iowa has to be pleased by its defensive performance when Ohio State was threatening. Spangler's kick is good. Ohio State strikes first here in Columbus. They get a field goal. Fourth. John Woolridge is the setback behind Carsados. Carsados goes deep and it's complete to Carter. First down at the 40. Era, you like Carsados. Tight end in motion. Fake to the fullback. Carsados to Carter. Carter's free but goes down at the 20 yard line. Devon Mitchell wrestles him down. Now watch. And the 31 yard attempt by Rich Spangler is on its way and he has missed for the first time. Rich Spangler, he won't get it in Columbus. He'll put it up, time, he overthrew him, intercepted. And it falls down to the ground, let's see how they rule it right there. The ball will be spotted at the 29 yard line. And there is Terry White, their big play man in that secondary. The linebackers, but the one he wants, 21. Now they're changing. He looks quickly at Mitchell. Now he's got his eye on him, and he's hit as he releases, and it's intercepted right back. And that's the nickelback, Rick Schmidt, who's got it for the Hawkeyes. Uh, you're seeing why Ohio State's unbeaten in 19 straight home games. Pascobala to punt it. Under pressure, it's blocked out of the end zone for a safety. Sonny Gordon, number seven, coming through for the Buckeyes. David Hudson is the lone setback to throwing formation. On the move, long, dangerous from this. And it is picked off, intercepted by White. William White has intercepted, and Long now has thrown two interceptions here in the first half. Great defense on the screen there. When I talked <laughs> you to know him, better. I know. I talked to him and asked him. That's the program, Wade, yeah. folks. Now they run Woolridge. Daylight breaks free. Career gives chase. Woolridge cuts speed. He's going to go for a touchdown. in motion. Long comes straight back. Down the right side and it's intercepted again. And this one is intercepted by Rogan, number 29. The third interception against Chuck Long by the Buckeyes. Isn't that ironic? On a day when Chuck Long could have made a move on Bo Jackson, he comes up firing interceptions. Three of them. 
Tarsado's off a delay, runs Cooper. Cooper for the end zone, gets to the five. John Breeze, the right tackle, 57, hauls him down. Now, Spangler has made one from 28 yards, missed one from 31. Now it's 26 yards, and it's good. He's two of three. Long pitches Harmon. Hudson leads the way. Harmon for the corner, and he's got it. Touchdown, Iowa. Ronnie Harmon steps in. Is the tailback. He goes in motion. Garcados wants to throw on first down. Complete to Lanise. And driven out of bounds at the 32-yard line. Sims with Lanise in motion. Garcados goes to the wide side in the motion man, Lanise, who steps out of bounds at the 46-yard line. Another first down for Ohio State. And it's still to be determined if Iowa will be number one then. Little delay, great draw with Cooper, the fullback. And he's down inside the 15-yard line. He carried a couple of tackles with him. The same little up and made it tough for the Buckeyes. And Spangler has missed one field goal. This one's no good either. And that is an enormous miss by the Buckeyes. Claiming that he cannot be heard. Now he goes ahead with the play. Waiting on third down. He's bumped. Gets the pass loose. And it is to 79. <laughs> Mike Haight, and there's a penalty flag down all over the field because he's an offensive tackle. Tarsados. Off the fake. He's got time. Intercepted by Iowa. Jay Norvell has done it again, and he's down to the 19 yard line. Coming down. All right. Power on. Harmon tries to go over the top, cannot make it. Ohio State ball. What a defense. So it would affect other things. Long is back to throw. He has time to the sideline. Helverson and Helverson swings free fumble at the 30-yard line. The officials go to the Buckeyes with the recovery. Workman is in there. First down. Here comes Workman to the short side. The hole is there. Workman, but down inside the five-yard line. Here's Workman looking for a hole. Touchdown, Ohio State. They'll run Hudson, he dives over the top, and he's got the touchdown for Iowa. The Hawkeyes stay alive in Columbus. Now, from the power eye, Bush in motion. Option, long options, here's Kevin. Kevin cannot get there. He is stopped by Sonny Gordon, number seven. A 42-yarder. Kicker's on its way by Houtland. No good. Yeah. pass intercepted number four coming over and out of bounds is Chris Spielman who puts a capper on it here in Columbus you remember at the top of the day when Hayden Fry said he walked his team around to pay honor to all those who have been buried here well there's one more burial going on in Columbus right now They were number one for five straight weeks. And they have finally fallen. And the Buckeyes come up a winner.